Today, we're diving into the subject most people avoid, emotional discomfort. But what if I told you that leaning into it could actually be the key to growth? By the end of this video, you might just see emotional discomfort not as something to fear, but as a powerful tool for transformation. Let's unpack it. But what exactly is emotional discomfort? It's those feelings we get when something challenges us. For example, it could be the anxiety you feel before making a big decision, that knot in your stomach when you need to have an uncomfortable conversation, or the self-doubt that creeps in when you're trying something new. These feelings are tough, but they're also completely natural. Everyone feels them, and they show up most often when we're stepping outside of our comfort zones. So let me tell you why emotional discomfort actually leads to growth. Emotional discomfort isn't just a random nuisance. It's actually a sign that something important is happening. Think of it like this. When you work out, your muscles get sore. That soreness means that you're getting stronger. Emotional discomfort works kind of the same way for your mind and soul. Discomfort pushes you to face challenges and solve problems. By working through those tough feelings, you build resilience and confidence and emotional intelligence. One of my favorite examples is public speaking. At first, the idea of getting up in front of people might terrify you, but every time you do it, the fear lessens and your confidence grows. That's the magic of leaning into discomfort. It's the path to growth. Resistance. One of my favorite quotes is from the book, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Most of us have two lives, the life we live and the unlived life within us. Between the two stands resistance. Resistance is why we avoid emotional discomfort in the first place. Our brains are actually wired to protect us from pain. When we sense discomfort, the brain says, no, nope, let's avoid that. So what do we do? We distract ourselves. We scroll endlessly on social media. We binge watch TV shows and maybe eat or drink something that we know isn't really good for us. Instead of facing the thing that we know we really should be facing, the hard stuff. But here's the catch, avoiding discomfort doesn't make it go away, it actually makes it worse. The fear grows because we're not addressing the root of it and that keeps us stuck in the same patterns. Here's the counterintuitive truth. The way to neutralize fear is to move towards it, not away from it. Let's break this down into some simple steps that we can all try to follow. Firstly, pause. When discomfort arises, take a moment and breathe. Don't react right away, just pause. Number two, name it. Give the emotion a name. Say to yourself, this is anxiety or this is sadness. Naming it helps you see it as something separate from you. Three, sit with it. Allow yourself to feel it without judging or trying to fix it. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. It won't last forever. Number four, take small steps. Whatever is causing the discomfort, approach it gradually. For example, if you're scared of public speaking, start by speaking to a small group before working your way up to a larger audience. So what happens when you do this? Well, the fear loses its power because it's no longer the unknown. You've faced it and you've survived it. That's how discomfort transforms from something scary into a tool for growth. So here's the big takeaway. Discomfort is inevitable, but it's also necessary for growth. When you lean into it instead of running from it, you neutralize the fear and you unlock all of this potential. When we can start small, the next time we feel discomfort, don't run. Pause, name it, lean into it. You might just be surprised at the strength you find on the other side. Wanna unpack that with Jack? I'll be right back.